be great on that field, you gotta have a why. You gotta have a reason for why you do what you do. Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Cool Man 100 x How you guys doing? Coming to you with part one of this shit works offensive guide. Now, this is for a custom offensive player that likes to play rank, play against people online, you know, friends, whatever. You're going to have your custom book that's agile to play against any defense, zone, or man. It has each breakdown runs at each formation, so trust me, you're going to love this shit works. Shit works. Wait, anyway. <laughs> All right, this is part one. What we're gonna be working on is all the pistol formations. So the first pistol formation we're gonna be working on is ace, and you can come out in any play if you want. It doesn't matter what play you come out in. Uh, go to random defense. Now, your five audibles is gonna be tight end cross, uh, skinny post, uh, PA wide receiver screen, uh, strong power. Now, for the tight end cross, you can definitely look with either one you wanna to go to, and pass lead now, rack catch it if you want. Doesn't matter which one you throw to, just try to look for your open receiver across the field. Now for the skinny post, man, you want to watch the inside zone because the inside zones might step up and pick it off. So you can definitely go aggressive catch or rack catch in them situations. Now for the next formation we're going to work on is PA wide receiver screen. Now this is a slick play because if you see the defensive off guard, you can definitely hit the screen or you can definitely hit the out route too as well. Turn up the field for an extra couple yards. So you have two choices on that play. You can either hit the screen or you can hit the out route to Cecily or you can definitely do a lot of creative stuff with the running back. Like, you can, like I don't know if you can, but you can't. But you can definitely hit that outside route or that screen if you want now. The strong power, which is really cool, it still works in this game, so you can definitely flip the play, and they won't notice which side that you're running on. It doesn't matter what side that you're running on, so you can definitely hit the play either side. So this will be your go-to running play across the field. Now, I will recommend coming out the middle with an HB dive or an one trap just to make the middle come up, so you can definitely come out and one of them plays. Now, for the next formation that we're going to work on, is ace twins one of my favorite formations. you can come out in any play now go to random now for this play uh slot under uh your five all is going to be slot under hb dive hb counter strong power now every every throwing play has a breakdown running play now this play you definitely have to be tricky with now you can do a lot of stuff with this play add routes add double slants you can add drags hitches streaks you can definitely create your own routes with this play, so I recommend definitely hitting practice mode and running this play if you want, and definitely creating routes if you want to. So you can definitely create routes out of that formation, which is very fun to do, so you can definitely, you cannot run this stock. You have to set something up in this formation, so definitely play around with slot under. It's like a free formation you create a lot of stuff out of. Uh, HB dive, if you see the line spread it, I like to max protect my line right and lost stick up definitely gets you a lot of play to cut up field with a power back or a speed back somebody died but it's okay <laughs> um for the hb counter um you can definitely run this self explanatory a lot of people say the counter doesn't work but um i like to pinch my line and uh cut to the left side of the field for some reason i don't know if that work it's like it works better if you pinch the line for some reason so make sure you press uh l l1 and uh right and long stick down for some reason the counter works a little bit more better for you to cut out field cut in field so definitely depend on what you see the defense in make sure you pinch the line if you see the defense in certain situations if their line are spread if they're coming in blitzing you can definitely try to get that bigger hole on the outside so make sure you make sure you mess around with pinch strong power self explanatory you can flip the play if you feel as though it's heavy on one side or it's heavy on the other um you can definitely slide protect to the right or max protect but i like slide protecting in this instance sometimes but usually like max protecting you have one guy to beat and definitely get you a couple yards for that situation so definitely play around with this formation is one of my favorites definitely will break down a run and a throw gives you an option so hope you enjoy pistol ace twins Next formation we're going to work on in the pistol is uh, White Trips. White Trips is very self explanatory. It's one of my favorites as well. Um, your five autos are going to be Double China. 
HP dive, HP counter, strong power. So the double chain is very good. What I like about this play, I actually have a pulse route on the left for two drag routes and one uh, slant, no, well not a slant, like a post route to the left or something, and an out route with the tight end, which I like to go to in this instance is that that like little uh, out to the left. So when you do that out to the left or that drag, you can rack it and get you a couple fields up yard just to keep the defense honest and keep yourself safe from throwing an interception. Now for the post route, I recommend pass leading down. You can definitely rack that and turn it up field for an aggressive catch. But be careful how you use double chain. It's very good for low passes if you want to keep it short. HB dive, if you see the line, spread it, make sure you match protect. Depending on what situation that you see the defense in, get you a couple yards and cut up the field, probably for a touchdown or even more yards. HB dive is very good. Uh, HB counter, just like I said earlier, if you pinch the line, it sort of works in serious situations, but if it don't, make sure you mess around with different different line blocking situations for it. But in an instance, I think pinch work best for some reason. I don't know, but I just feel as though pinch gives you a better hole, I guess. You see, like, I get better hole when I run the ball with pinch. So, pinch, I recommend using for counters. Um, the next one is strong power. Now, for the strong power, you have to really pay attention to this. It's that your slot receiver is going to block for you, as you can see here. He's going to suck that uh, linebacker or corner in and he's going to block for you. But sometimes he might get picked up, sometimes he don't. So that means Kelsey is going to block for you. You can run outside and you have one person to beat. That's a very good running play, and uh, you can do a lot of stuff with that play too as well. I'm going to get more into that running play on a different tip. Um, I'm going to have running play tip coming soon. So I'm going to get more in depth with more running play tips for you guys that will help you out to run the ball better. Um, so that's it for wide trip. I'm going to work on our next formation, guys for pistol is trips. Trips is very good. You can come out of any play. I recommend putting PA boot because PA boot is really good. Um, the PA deep is very good play to run stock if you want. I like hitting that circle route, that zig circle route because a lot of people don't really guard it. Get you a couple yards up the field. And the rest of the routes are very self-explanatory if the defense is not, you know, guarding low. But that circle route is basically my favorite route to go to in certain situations where the defense is guarding well. So, yeah, you can definitely get that route if you want to. If he's not guarding up top, you can definitely test him downfield and try to get that uh, aggressive catch or rocket catch or whatever. So, you can definitely work on that. And, you know, the out route, Kelsey, and stuff like that. You can definitely create your own stuff like you did with uh, the auto formation as well. HB dive, self-explanatory. Um, just like I said with the HB counter, make sure you pitch the line. Strong power, same as well. The strong power is definitely working this game because it's heavy on one side. Make sure you match protect or slide to the right. I like match protecting because it gives that right guard and you get to beat them. So make sure you match protect in them instances if they're not heavy on the right. So that's a great tip too. Um, our next formation we're going to go over, guys, is I showed you the articles to that formation. Um, um, the next formation we're going to be going over is bunch tight end. Um, you can come out of any play. Um, very self-explanatory. Uh, your audibles is going to be uh, your first audible is going to be slant, flood. Second one, HP draw. Third one, HP counter. Fourth one, strong power. Now, for the Saint flood, I recommend running this stocked. You don't really have to do anything to this play. All you have to do is just look for the open receiver. So the open receiver is there. You know, you can throw it anywhere you want. So it's just self-explanatory because. Uh, to be honest with you, he was open on the swing, so you can definitely get you a, you know, a couple yards off that swing. So, just throw it to your open receiver, man. You can definitely just run this play stock, and you can definitely get it open. A lot of people do not guard the right side, so make sure you look for Kelsey on that right side, too. A lot of people just stack up on the bunch because they can't defend it well, so definitely look out for that. HP draw, self-explanatory. I like match protecting or pinching, so make sure you pay attention to the line. In this instance, I'll probably pinch because the line is spread it, so, you know, sometimes it got me there off the line, so, different instance here for draw, I would probably max protect here, cut up to the left, cut to the right, stuff like that, just find your open hole for the HB draw, um, self explanatory with the counters I told you how to do, An instance, if you feel, feel as though you can pinch that line and get you a bigger hole, you know, see if you can cut up them holes, that'll be good, so, messing around with the pinch and practice mode. 
uh, strong power, just like I said, if it's heavy to the right or left, you can definitely audible to the left or audible to the right, audible to the left. And um, just running stock, you don't really have to slide protect anything to play. It still works, so yeah, you don't have to do anything to that play. Um, that's self explanatory for bunch tight end. Uh, next formation we're going to be working on, guys, is um, slot swing. You can come out of any play. Uh, what you want to do here, guys, is PA Bronco. Uh, PA Bronco Cross is your first audible. Weak Flood is your second audible. Uh, HP Counter inside zone. Now, for the um, for the first audible, uh, PA Bronco Cross, uh, what I like to do is put Kelsey in a tight end. And, like, he doesn't go outfield. He cuts automatically to the right, and you can turn his play into a screen. So that's what's really good about this play. I'm going to do it again. Um... Put Kelsey in a drag and just look for this route. He doesn't cut outfield. He automatically cuts upfield, and you can turn it into a sort of a, a screen, cut back screen. So uh, you can definitely do that. Um, the next audible we're going to be going over is weak flood. Weak flood is very good. All you want to do is look for the drag route with Kelsey or the out route, or the you can put him in a hitch or a streak. I like putting him in a hitch to make that linebacker suck in and have Kelsey more room. So do anything you want with them to play but for the first play it's like a mini mini screen so hp counter i told you self-explanatory inside zone this is very good for the inside zone uh you can max protect the whole time and just run up the middle with a power back you can definitely get you a couple yards up the field in case if you're like fourth and three fourth and two this is a great play to go to for the inside zone so yeah the next formation we're going to be working on guys is Strong. One of my favorite formations, guys. Play. Random. Alright, uh, your first audible is going to be HB Slipstream. Your second audible is going to be PA Flood. Your third audible is going to be um, HB Dive Weak. Um, your last audible is going to be Inside Zone Split. Now, what I like to do with this formation is work backwards. So, what you want to do, you want to start with the end zone split and you can match protect. Was really good. You get a big red wall, and you get a lot of one on one, a lot of one on ones with that running play. So definitely work backwards. So after you run the inside zone, you can definitely hit him with the inside weak. Now with the inside weak, is very self explanatory because he blocks from the left and right side. Now what you want to do with this? It's going to make a wall. Now pay attention to how the line pushes everyone back. Now you can definitely hit either hole that you want. Let's try it. protect if you have to uh seeing the line situation that you want to be in so yeah. i can't really get that cut because the block is horrible so but once you see the hole you'll see what i'm talking about uh, for the block like this situation is very good so you get that you see them big holes that you get so just make sure you hit the holes if you have to um for the hp slip screen stuff is planetary man um just hit triangle if you see them linebackers suck in and just Cut your way upfield, work your way upfield with this uh, flip zone. So, yeah, that's pretty much it with this formation. It's one of my favorites. I like working backwards because it's really good. So, make sure you definitely hit this formation close in the practice mode. Um, the next formation that we're going to be working on is uh, Twins Tight End. Twins Tight End, uh, Pistol Twins Tight End, which is our last formation. Uh, you can come out in any play. Um, your first audible is going to be your uh, curl combo. Second audible is going to be PA tight and slip. Your third HP counter, strong power. What I like about the curls is that you can do a lot of stuff with this play. You can put Cecily on a drag and you can streak Kelsey if you want. You can definitely work your way with the curls and just, you know, have one on one coverage with the tight end if you want. Uh, you can definitely play around with that play if you want, but just leave the curls. The curls are very deadly this year. Um, the PA tight end slip is very good uh, because Cecily goes out in the line. Now pay attention. When he pats it, you can throw it to Cecily for like a mini screen. And you can definitely get you a couple yards off of that. Just breaking tackle all the way down the field. <laughs> Alright, the next one. Uh, just like I said for the HB Connor, if there are not a lot of people over there, you can pinch it and you can definitely get a big hole up the field and try to cut your way out that hole. Uh, for the strong power, now for the strong power, very pay attention to this play because a lot of people do not use this running play. 
Now what you're gonna do, you can either slide protect or max protect. In this instance, I will uh, slide protect to the right. Now, um, I'm gonna get more in depth with the running plays um, for tips, so to pay attention. When he cuts out field, you, you, you have two people to beat, but sometimes you usually have one. So like an instance, like um, if I max protect and they go out field like that, you can still get a couple yards. So just play around with the running play, man, but I get more in depth to make that running play even more deadlier and better for you to run. So run it one more time. Definitely get one-on-one -on -one coverage and try to break everything. So. <laughs> All right, that is the last formation for the pistols, guys. I hope you enjoyed part one of The Shit Works. <laughs> Ebook guy, man. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Um, part two will be up soon. And I hope you enjoyed it. And deuces. Yo, this is an easy way to get the ebook if y'all don't feel like putting all the plays in another playbook and creating it. All y'all niggas gotta do is go to customize, go to your share, and go to um, download community files, and go to your boy Shitworks. I'm just up there, hopefully. I think I just posted it, so. Look for uh, S-H-T-W-O-R-K-S, Shitworks. It'll be an uh, offensive guy created by kool aid Man 100X, that shit boy. So make sure you download the e-guide and just follow the videos and the steps and everything will be set up to always be set up. Just follow the steps and just run through the videos and run the scheme. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the e-book, niggas. All right, I'm out this bitch. Deuce. <laughs>